So I will show you where we age yeah. some of the brandy. Um, this is our second batch. Um, and then we'll do, a, we'll do a little comparison tasting, you know? The smell completely changes coming from that room into this room. You can really smell the wood in this room. Yeah, and yeah. we keep this room at about 80, 85% sure. humidity. You can feel uh, that as well. Yeah, and it's, uh, it's critical so you don't have evaporation. Sure. The wood doesn't dry out too much and it's good temperature for aging, you know? And back to the concept of all Wisconsin, we have Wisconsin oak. Oh, really? And that is something you will not find a lot in America, where grape brandy is uh, aged in Wisconsin oak. So which barrel are we going to taste from? Well, guess. We'll uh, try that Philippe Toast. Yes, you know? yes. And uh, you will see it's, uh, it's pretty much what I want to settle on for the next 50 years. Great. You know? So this, is, this has been in the barrel only one year. One year. Okay. And uh, you will see it's, um, this one is still um, 120 proof. So you can see it's a pretty nice color already yeah, from, you know, from starting with a white, this was the white yeah. uh, brandy from the steel, and then one year in, the, in this barrel, so. Uh, so cheers. Oh yeah. yeah, I mean you get the, the, the caramel and vanilla right away, even for having only been in the barrel for yeah. a year. And you will see that it's kind of interesting how it, it follows different stages. Um, you will taste the brandy after two years in the barrels, the fruit is coming back. Okay. So, it, and ultimately that's what you want, you know. You don't want the oak to overpower. Sure. No, that's not the point, you know. Yeah. Even in the wine business, I, I taste so many wines where you may as well cut it oak juice right. instead of Cabernet or Chardonnay. Sure. Or, it's interesting, no. you know, you have the, the wine, then it yeah. becomes something clear. Yeah, you're right. And you then start, it, almost, right. it almost, you know, yeah. without the cloud, yeah. it almost goes back into similar similar color yeah. after a year. You know, we've tried it many times. And it was a matter of, okay, you know what, I really dislike this one. It's really not contributing, it's not helping. It's making the brandy taste a little bit rough and better. So, okay, process of elimination. I don't want, I don't right. want. Okay, now I'm zeroing on this is what I want. All right, so here we are back in the original building. You know, this is where we uh, age uh, all the Chardonnay, Pinot, Domaine Reserve, Domaine du Sac. This is beautiful. Chardonnay is uh, uh, barrel fermented and barrel aged. So kind of the old fashioned way of doing it. You know, no, no stainless steel for the Chardonnay, but all wood. This is an old school cellar down here. So do you want to taste the two year old brandy? I definitely do want to taste you know, right the two year old. Here, you know, and you will see it's quite a bit darker. See? Oh yeah. So, so this is almost finished product. So within uh, actually a, a month or two, we will bottle this. Wow. One more year of age and the, the difference is drastic. Drastic in everything, you know, in the nose. The caramel, the toast is not as intense. The food yeah. is coming back. It's sure a lot is. more mellow in the nose. It doesn't have that, that, that spiciness up front. You know, you really get that more lush mm. fruit uh, with that extra yeah. year of yeah. aging. It's, it's, it's really complex and nice. I think uh, this is going to turn into a really great, great release for you. You know, the, the beauty of it is thinking that the next few years would even be better. You know, that's... Experimentation. Like it Absolutely. just kind of continues yeah. to, to grow and evolve. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the distillation in, in the United States is, is just kind of slowly yeah. getting uh, bigger and bigger. And, and, it, and it's really great to see, you know, wineries moving into distillation and experimentation. And mm -hmm. it, you're really doing a great job here with it. So, love it. cheers. Yeah, thanks.